100. That means cosine of theta is what? Plus or minus the square root of 19 over the square root of 100, which is 10. Which one is it, and how do I know? Why? The how do I know part needs to be answered too. That doesn't matter. There are, multiple, there are places where the cosecant is positive and the cosine will both be, one place it will be positive, one place it will be negative. So it's in quadrant one. In quadrant one. I am told right here that my angle is between 0 and pi over 2. That's between 0 and pi over 2. That's in quadrant 1. And in quadrant 1, absolutely everything is positive. So I'm in quadrant 1. So my cosine of theta turns out to be the positive square root of 19 over 10. Now, the rest of the question should be really easy. Yes? What's the tangent of theta? Would be the sine over the cosine, so that would be 9 over 10 over the square root of 19 over 10, which leaves me with 9 over the square root of 19. Uh, what was the next one? Oh, secant was the next one. I don't think I need this anymore. What's the secant of theta? 10 over root 19. It's 10 over root 19 because I take my cosine and I flip it over. And then the last one was the cotangent of theta. What's that? Root 19 over 9 because I take my tangent and I flip it over. Everybody okay with that? Wasn't too bad? You don't see the other one? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Now we'll do it with triangles. Triangles are pretty easy. <coughs> Bless you. So since you already know the answers, we'll see if we get it right with the triangles. plane. Because people have a tendency when drawing their triangles in the coordinate plane to start labeling sides as being negative. And you can't have triangle sides be negative. So I just draw my triangle. It doesn't matter which way it faces, but I know it's right. Where is my angle theta? It's uh, in the bottom of the pen. Sure, okay, we'll put it here. Does it matter if it's there? No. Where's the only place it can't be in my triangle? Uh, the right angle. So we can put it here, we can put it there, it doesn't matter. Just pick one and put it. You need to always label your angle when you put, your, put it in your triangle. Now I'm told that the cosecant of theta is 10 ninths. What are the sides in terms of triangles the cosecant of an angle is equal to what in terms of the size of the triangle? Hypotenuse over opposite. Hypotenuse over opposite. Well, I'm told this is 10 over 9, so can I just assume that means the hypotenuse is 10 and the opposite is 9? Yeah. Sure. This is 10, opposite, 9. Okay, so far? Now, what do I need to be able to answer all my questions? I need the adjacent side. So, how do I find it? Pythagorean theorem. We'll label it. Have I used the letter X? No, I'm using theta. So, I'll call it X. So, X squared plus 9 squared equals 10 squared. X squared plus 81 equals 100. So x squared equals 19, so x equals plus or minus the square root of 19. Which one is it? Why? Because I can't have a negative side. So length is positive. 
So up here, my x is the positive square root of 19. So now when I answer my question of what is the sine of theta, there are two things I have to do. One, I have to put the sides in the right place. What would the sides be? Sine of theta in terms of sides of, triangle, of a right triangle are? Is opposite over hypotenuse. And in my problem, the opposite is 9, the hypotenuse is 10. So that's the first part. The second part is I have to check with my problem and see where it says my sine function is, where my angle is. And the problem says the quad, it's in quadrant 1, so you get to leave it as being positive. If it had put it in some other quadrant where the sine is negative, you can get negative. So then I can answer the rest of them doing the same thing. So I can do my cosine of theta. What is that in terms of sides? Adjacent over hypotenuse. And we just got the adjacent side to be the square root of 19. So this will be the square root of 19 over 10. And I should check to make sure that it's what quadrant I'm in so that I know whether to make it positive or negative. You want me to go on? You guys look like you're half asleep. Is it just me? Just I. Well, yeah, I know that. And I know it's parents' weekend. How many of you have your parents coming today? Nobody? Oh, we got one. Two. We got two. They're sitting in the back. Gee, it must be the other classes. I've got lots of students who say, oh, my parents are coming to this. I'm not going to do any homework. Okay. Then get it over with before they get here. Or make your parents do it with you. Then they'll really appreciate college all over again. Can you imagine making your parents do trade? Well, what time is it? Are we close enough to say we can just call it a day? Yeah. You think? Okay, we'll call it.